Welcome everyone. Today we're going to be talking about the key to inspired leadership and what do all companies that are successful in the world, what do they have in common? Well, that is strong leadership. Now think about those inspiring leaders within those companies. What are some of the qualities that they all share? Well, effective communication, integrity, innovation, flexibility, critical thinking, and there are so many more. But the commonality here, something that transcends the conventionality of being committed to just a career, is being committed to a cause, a why. When companies have leaders that are driven by this why, a compelling cause and a powerful mission, their employees are a lot more productive. And Simon Sinek can be quoted saying, average companies give their people something to work on. In contrast, the most innovative organizations give their people something to work toward. These employees come to work eager, determined, and enthusiastic to join the company in the mission because they believe that their goals are in alignment with the company's. They're also very energized and inspired and therefore attract more people to the organization. Inspired leaders don't actually look to themselves as the most important element in the company's success. They don't look at the title, the respect that they get from the title, or the actual position itself, the money or the prestige, that makes them an inspired leader. They actually come to work as well to further that vision and mission of the companies and inspire other people to do the same. The role of a leader is not to come up with all the great ideas. The role of a leader is to create an environment in which great ideas can happen. That key to inspiring leadership resides in the ability to show up every day confident, determined, purposeful, and with an unshakable belief in a cause. And inspired leaders can do this by sharing their why they do what they do because they're inspired by the company's cause. You know, truly what inspired leaders do is they give their employees a sense of purpose and they propel them to expand their own skills and talents all while working on tackling challenges. They focus on developing ideas and developing the people rather than assigning them instructions on what is expected of them at work. You know, inspiring leaders don't start out believing that they are going to influence others to do all the work while they take all the credit and hoard success. They set out to hone their skills, grow their knowledge and nurture their passion to do the work that they deem important. By doing so and succeeding, leaders find that they have inspired people along the way, people who were zealous at joining them in the first place to realize their vision. And in a leadership role, it is all about inspiring other people towards a common cause and a vision. Leadership is not always easy, and there are many hardships along the way. But employees exacerbate a much greater attachment to the company and the cause when they know the vision, where they're going, and they have a clear path to achieve that. So strong leadership entails making sure that people are inspired and reconnected to why they do what they do. Another quote by Simon Sinek, he says, people who come to work with a clear sense of why are less prone to giving up after a few failures because they understand the higher cause. And we know that when employees have a sense of purpose, they're a lot more emotionally resilient and they also find it easier to push through obstacles and difficulties. They can even find opportunities in those challenges. That cause, that vision, that higher sense of purpose is what gives you the motivation to continue on and try to achieve those immeasurable levels of success. And when you're trying to do this, you also have that trust in your employees to carry out that vision and make it a reality. It means you're actively listening to what people around you say and you develop mindfulness in a way that you show up and how you present yourself and the way that you engage with those you lead. So inspiring and empowering those under your care begins with establishing an open channel of communication, one that encourages freedom of expression and innovative thinking. In this day and age, that is almost impossible to execute without the precise and targeted use of social media. Now, if you go to my website at www.amanda-desilva.com, under the freebie section, you will see exactly how you can show up and show your commitment to a cause, what it is that you're doing and what you represent. And so under my freebies, I do have a use to change your social media banner so that it looks super professional and it, it shows you a step-by-step -step how to do that. So you can just go to freebies, 
click on the download and you'll have everything at your fingertips to set yourself up so that it shows who you are, your purpose, your why, and what you represent. If you like this video, please go to my website at www.amanda-desilva.com forward slash newsletter. That way you get a newsletter, the blog, and this video delivered to your inbox weekly. And as well, click subscribe, that little button below, so that you're subscribed weekly to my new videos that I upload and I just thank you so much for being part of this community. I know that you value the personal development space as much as I do. So if you can share, like, and comment wherever possible, I greatly appreciate that. Thank you so much.